run on the Democratic Party's position on health care. They're all running against themselves. In Wisconsin, pre-existing conditions are covered. And as long as I'm governor, they always will be. Actually, under Governor Scott Walker, Wisconsin is the lead named plaintiff on the federal lawsuit that would eliminate Obamacare, including specifically its protections for people with pre-existing conditions. But nice try. I'm Josh Hawley. I support forcing insurance companies to cover all pre-existing conditions. Actually, Josh Hawley is the attorney general in the state of Missouri who's personally handling that state's part in the federal lawsuit to kill Obamacare, including its protections for pre-existing conditions. But again, nice try. I support forcing insurance companies to cover pre-existing conditions. Actually, under Florida Governor Rick Scott, his state is suing to allow insurance companies specifically to no longer cover pre-existing conditions. But nice try. I'm fighting to protect pre-existing conditions. Here's the truth. Kevin Kramer voted for guaranteed coverage for pre-existing conditions. I'm taking on both parties and fighting for those with pre-existing conditions. Everyone agrees we're going to protect pre-existing conditions. I want the voters to know I'm committed to protecting people with pre-existing conditions. I'm fighting for it. I fought for it and I voted for it. Nope. Martha McSally, no, you did not. <laughs> You actually voted to get rid of Obamacare, including its protections for people with pre-existing conditions. So did you, Ted Cruz, Texas senator up for re-election. So did you, Dean Heller, Nevada senator up for re-election. So did you, Dana Rohrabacher, Russian congressman up for re-election. So did you, Congressman Kevin Kramer, running for Senate now against Heidi Heitkamp in North Dakota. You all voted to end insurance coverage for people with pre-existing conditions. You all voted for it. You all voted to kill Obamacare including that provision of it. And now you've all pulled on these latex masks just in time for Halloween to pretend like, actually, you're kind of a Democrat on this issue, and people should vote for you if they want to save Obamacare, despite your voting record, your uninterrupted voting record, and your uninterrupted prior political resume of trying to kill it. This is happening all over the country. Democrats are running on health care. Republicans are pretending to be Democrats running on health care, completely denying their old voting records and what they are actively doing right now on the subject. And to put a cherry on top of this Sunday, this week, two weeks after the election, the Trump administration has just announced that they are imposing new rules on the states. That for the first time since Obamacare passed, they will allow health insurance companies to once again start refusing to cover people with pre-existing conditions. States will now be able to have health insurance coverage once again, like we used to have, that doesn't cover people with pre-existing conditions or that charges them more because you've got a pre-existing condition. New rule just issued by the Trump administration yesterday. They literally picked the issue that more Americans care about than any other heading into this election. And on that issue, they did the exact and specific opposite of what the American people want on this issue. And this issue proves to be more motivating than any other for how people are going to vote in two weeks' time. How is that likely to work out? That's next.